Ladies, I need y'all to pay attention to this. Aunt Glizzy of the Glizzy Gang, I don't know why they call themselves this, is, is accusing Shy Glizzy and him of, he's talking about how they used to spike bottles uh, for chicks back in the day, you know what I'm saying, to make sure chicks were smashing at the end of the night. Listen to what he got to say. Y'all don't remember, I swear y'all don't got the recording. I been told y'all Shy spiked them bottles. Uh, I know he spiked them bottles. On GQ, I spiked a couple bottles with him. I spiked one with him before. The little joint, uh... Back in the day, I ain't gonna say no names, but we, I spiked a bottle with him before my mother. I was in Spike I, I spiked one bottle with him before. I'm wild. I'm guilty. I ain't gonna lie. He showed me how to do it, and I did it one time. I ain't gonna lie. I can't lie. It, I didn't buy the liquor or the, or the spike it with, though. He did it. He just told me how to do it real quick. Like, he just put the Molly in a Patron. I bet you it was a Patron or a 42. It wasn't no, wasn't no 42 out at the time. But he being putting that in, you gotta put that in a dark drink and stir, stir that. I swear to God. So please be warned, ladies. It is lames like this in every club. You These... These dudes got money, and they still doing this. You understand what I'm saying? Get your drink from the bar. Stop going out with these dudes. Oh, let me get a shout out of your body. No, whatever he's drinking on that table, you don't drink that. And you go get your drink. Put it on his tab. If he going to buy you a drink, put it on his tab. You go get your drink and watch him pour it and get you a drink like that. Any girl that ever been around Shaq Dizzy was you super duper drunk as shit, just think about it. Now you can think about it. Now it's like the Me Too movement. Any girl that ever been around the Glizzy gang, just think about when y'all got drunk. Y'all was super drunk. Like that was the extra drunk guy ever did. That'll, 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 that'll let you know right there. I swear to God, my mother. If some girls know they was with the Glizzy gang, they got drunk this shit. One not like extra drunk. They don't know how. Like it's more, it's a move, it's a Me Too movement. He's been doing this for 10 years. I swear to God, it's at least 20 people that's gonna come out and say shit. I all of y'all about to be locked up, won't let y'all out. Like, listen, y'all <laughs> y'all are idiots. Look, he trying to incriminate his boy that he beefing with, but he admitting to all this stuff too. Like, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad you is though. I'm glad you got stupid high and got on here and told on your stupid self because we need to get lames like y'all out the way, bro. I'm glad stories like this come out to balance the sales because I be feeling some type of way. I just did a story about a chick lying on Drake. And it makes me feel a type of way about women that be lying on people. But it just, just stuff like this come out. And I do believe it, even though it is alleged right now. <clears throat> but I do believe it because he told it on himself, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he would have thrown himself in there had it not been true. But we got a story where a young lady is, is talking about being around these dudes. They cornered me in the kitchen with his uh, little posse and convinced me to do this pill. And I don't know what the pill was. Um, I said no a million times. Eventually, I was just like, okay, like, whatever. And he comes in, and he pulls me onto the bed. And I look down, and his dick is out. And he's like, get. And I, and I said no. And then he said, get. And I said no. And he said, then you're fine with not getting paid. And I said, yeah. But see, now the difference in this story is, baby girl, you took the pill. And to be real, you really better be happy that you got out of there before the pill kicked all the way in. You understand what I'm saying? Because that could have went different. You could have been passed out and stuff could have been done to you. And then, you you know, we in a whole different place with this. And even when people just offering you regular drinks and they regular drink, right? You can't be getting too drunk with people because you don't know. You would be passed out and then something could be done to you then. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you said no when it came down to doing something sexual and you got out of there. Like, you know, the money ain't... ain't I don't want the money. I don't want this, that, and I just want to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you did that. But you cannot just be taking pills. Like, this is another no-no, ladies. Like, you don't know what these pills are. People just ask, here, take this. No. You don't let somebody peer pressure you and wear you down into doing something you don't want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if pills ain't, if that ain't what you want to do and you don't know what it is and this, that, and other, just a, a, a stiff no will we'll, we'll keep at it. You know what I'm saying? That would be different if he poured it in your drink like he has been suspected to do all these other times before but it is the type of pressure men be putting on women in these situations hey you want to move up you want to do this song Shanti had a situation where she was talking about somebody wanted to do a song with her and he like yeah yeah take a shower with me. you know what I'm saying and she kept he kept pressing her like yeah take a shower with me what's up what's up you know what I'm saying and then she didn't put his name out there which I don't really know why, because I mean, I'm sure he continued to practice over the years, you know what I'm saying? But it just, um, this is a weird thing to sort out because you have a lot of women that are being taken advantage of putting these weird positions and these weird spots by dudes that's 
they got a little power, a little influence. They able to make stuff move for you. And it's like, hey, if you want this, what's up? But I have to be honest. Ladies, if you're taking that route and accepting whatever they want to do to climb the ladder, that, that got to be on you. You got to eat that if you're willing for, willingly accepting, okay, well, he going to bump me up the scales or he going to introduce me to this person or he going to let me get on this song if I do this, that, and the other sexually to him. You know what I'm saying? That's a choice you make in there. Now, we're talking about something different in these cases of Aunt Glizzy and Shy Glizzy where they putting something in the bottle, shaking it up, and then pouring you a drink. And then next thing you know, you're waking up like, what, what happened last night? And nobody wants to be in that state or that frame of mind. And that's why I say we need to get these lanes out the way. Ricky Rose admitted to doing it back in the day. Well, uh, he said it in the song or something. Put put something in the in the champagne. She ain't even know it. This, that, and another. It, it just it just blew past most of us. We ain't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't think about it. And and it, and this is something. This is something that bugs me, man. Because you know when you make a decision as a person, hey, I don't do this no more, or I or I don't do this at all or whatever or you know what i'm saying and you like I'll, I'll have a drink but i i'm not into all that extra stuff that y'all doing and then here come people putting stuff in your drink and you know what i'm saying this is where you got to be taking the extra precaution don't leave your drink out sitting on no table while you go to the bathroom don't take no drink pour it out of somebody's hand you know what i'm saying Stop eating these, you know, brownies and, and candies and cookies and all this stuff. Everybody making edibles and this, that, and another. You don't know what's in it. Do you know what's in it? No. You blindly trusting that they, you know what I'm saying? They in the crib experiment. You don't know what they into. They could be putting, uh, you know, making regular edibles, but they could be adding it, adding some extras to it. You don't know what that is. You don't know what it is and people offering it to you. And it's just, you know, you you, you got to be careful because, ladies, uh, listen, I want y'all to be protected. I want y'all to know I love y'all. I don't want to continue to be jaded by women that are lying, but I need us to hold each other accountable. When you, when like these lames like this, Aunt Glizzy and the Glizzy get all these lame, like lock these dudes up, man. Like, come on, bro. You Like, I'm wa I'm waiting to see who come out after this and say they were some of the women that was assaulted because it's on the way. I mean, y'all got to be idiots if you think it's not on the way. It's on the way. They've been, it, Aunt Glizzy, then, then, with his ale alleged stories, then rolled out the red carpet for y'all to walk on in and drop whatever lawsuit y'all going to drop and get these dudes locked up. Because I want to see y'all protected. But I also want to see y'all hold the women accountable and call out these same ratchet women that be lying on men for no reason. You understand what I'm saying? Because even though my man has admitted to this, it's in general. But this now gives women an opportunity to just be like, oh, I was in the club with them one night. I'm about to say they drugged me. Right? I'm about to say they did, right? So this gives the fakes and the liars an in to come in and start lying and this, that, and other. So we do still have to take this case by case and see what's true and what's not. You understand what I'm saying? Because I do want the women who have been taken advantage of to get justice. I just don't want any old woman just to come out of nowhere like, oh, it's just throw me in the pot knowing they ain't never even met the dudes. You dig what I'm saying? Just to get into their pockets, just to disparage their name just to get them locked up and just that and another you know what i'm saying we got to call out both sides of the game and that's all i'm asking but these dudes they gotta go they gotta go it's too much like i know it's alleged but uh, listen it, it it looked like it ain't gonna take too much digging to make some of these uh accusations stick so i suggest somebody get to dig because I don't know why this dude would incriminate himself that much just to incriminate his partner.
But it's your boy, P-Camp. You let me know what you think, what you don't think about the whole situation. Get at your boy. And ladies, go and get your drink from the bar. You understand?